unknown. Great. We caught a fish, and I made you this necklace. Ain't that pretty? You're not the luckiest. Did you thank Uncle Arthur? No need. We had a good time. What's wrong? Nothing. Just met some folk. I better go speak with Dutch. Okay. Hey, you did real fine, kid. Thanks. We got a problem. What? I just met some guys out near the river. A fella named, um, Milton and, um, uh, I don't remember the other fella's name. Ross. Milton and Ross. And? and they are employees of the Pinkerton Detective Agency. And they know about the train and they know we're here. Were you followed back here? No. They know we're near here. And they want you, Dutch. They offered me my freedom in exchange, they did. Why didn't you take it? <laughs> Very funny. Well, what do we do now? I say we do nothing just yet. They're just trying to scare us into doing something stupid. We survived them mountains. We just need to stay calm. It ain't your job. Ah, shut up, Arthur. Yeah, your job's starting the fights. It ain't winning them. We can scrap, Arthur. I'm just no good at homework. I can see. Besides, what do you care, Englishman? You've got no time for me, other folks, and your boy Shaw doesn't get a look in. Guess I don't want to get shot, that's all. Yeah, you're a real fucking funny shit, Arthur Morgan, huh? Real fucking funny. Calm down. You better sleep with your eyes open. Yeah, well, you're gonna sleep with your chest open if you ain't careful, boy. <laughs> I love you, Arthur Morgan. I love you. Come on, take a shot. Come on, take your best shot, please. Eh? Grow up. And let me come on the raid with you. Raid? Don't be playing coy with me, son. It's unbecoming. That bloody train you and him has set up. What you're doing out here, you're going to need guns. You're going to need men. Oh, that. So Marston told you? It ain't a big show. I need calmness. If I take you, I might as well bring Micah along. Now compare me to that oily toward again. You're a dead man. <laughs> Fair enough. Anyway, Arthur, what's your problem with me? In fact, don't tell me. I already know. You are threatened by me. Threatened by you? Yeah, my youthful vigor. It intimidates you. Does it? It's a story as old as the hills. The changing of the guard, the fading of the light. You're toast, old man. Okay. <laughs> And what are you? I'm the future. In all its glory. Oh, well, good luck. Good luck and shut up. <laughs> I want to get some rest before nightfall. <clears throat> Wake up, you lazy sir. What are you doing here, kid? I'm coming, John. On the job. I said you weren't coming. Yeah, well, Arthur says I am. And it's his party, boy, so come on, let's go. <laughs> Me and the big cheeses, love it. Can't wait to slit some bastard's throat. You sure about this? No. <laughs> Are we ready? Yeah. Train's due through tonight. All right, then. It's on. Charles? I'm ready. Gentlemen, let's go earn some money. Hey, all the horses untethered? I think so. Good. They should follow on behind us. You find a good spot, Wolfman? Yeah. Give them enough time to spot the oil wagon. They see this block in the tracks, they'll stop soon enough. Apparently. Picks up a new team of guards at the state line, so... Shouldn't be too much in the way of guns to deal with. See? This is what I mean. I disappear for a couple of weeks and you cut me out of all the action. Just the action that requires a brain. Ha ha ha. Ah, you're a funny fella, John Marston. For my folks, eh? 
You had your feet up the whole time, playing sick, and fondling that new scar, like you're gonna buy a breakfast in the morning. You don't know what you're talking about. Stay close on this. Wouldn't want you getting scratched by a squirrel or something. That could put you out of commission for the rest of the year. Why do you have to speak so much? It's incessant. Plus, I've still got some blood in me veins. You old bastards have forgotten how to live. I blame you two for rescuing them. Far too much trouble for what we got out of it. They're left here, towards road. Yeah, takes a whole army of bounty hunters to bring in Sean McGuire. And look at me now, in the gunner sea. <laughs> Back in business, boys. <laughs> you know, my dad always used to say... Not the dad, no, please. Not this oh. again. What are we stopping for? Fine! Damn you three! Sulky, angry, scarface. A right barrel of laughs. Yeah. So, we blocked the tracks with the wagon, then jumping. That's the plan. Pretty much. Charles, you deal with the engineer. Slow down. John, secure the passenger car fast. Take charitable donations and make sure everyone behaves. Little Mr. McGuire. You focus on the baggage car. Grab any valuables you can find. Shoot your mouth and get a bullet back. So, what are you doing? I'll run point. Keep an eye out for outriders and the law. And help you three where I can. All right for some. <laughs> Cherry picking, I call that. We'll be out in the middle of nowhere, so it'll take a while for any word to get to the law. But here's good. Stop the wagon over the tracks. Remember, these are innocent folks. <sighs> Mr. Marsh. Mr. Smith. Mr. McGuire. Get over there. When she slows, order. And you? I'm gonna make sure she's you. <laughs> I like it. Get moving. Here she comes. I'm going aboard. Make that quick and join us on there. Hey, go on! Get on there! Master. All yours, Captain. Well, go on ahead. Everybody stay calm and sure. sure. you get go shot. Down. Go! Everything you got! Money! Valuable! You're getting robbed. You there you go. Everything you got. Quick, people, come on! We ain't leaving till this bag's full. I, I don't want to get money. I ain't got anything. nothing. You want to make me hurt you? Romeo and Juliet here. Pay me what you got, Mister. You won't get hurt. What's the problem here? No money. Hey, don't do this. Just give it to him, Thomas, please. Okay. Come on. Okay. In the bag, God everything you got. Keep it coming, don't, don't be shy. Know. People like you make me sick. These two seem to think we're playing games. Uh, I'm on you. Please don't hurt me. Please. I'm not a bad man. I don't want to get hurt. God damn it. Oh, God. Sick is better than dead, lady. And I'm Thank losing you. my goddamn patience. Let's just do what he says. So this can... Ladies and gentlemen, this is a robbery. Respect this quick. No, you go ahead and look for the baggage oh, car. Shoot, you all free. Tough guy, huh? You sure about Why that? Why are you wasting our time, You huh? show this son of a bitch we ain't Quick, coming out of here! Don't help me! Everything you got! Money! Valuables! 
We ain't leaving till this black smoke. You won't get a damn cent from this. Empty Let me hand you over to my strand then. You can be on your way. Hey, buddy. Put it down! Come on, cover it up, people. Don't be shy. Everything you got. Let's go. Gonna need all your money, my friend. You gotta pay. Help me. Come on, Mr. M. Clock here. I wasn't gonna rob you, ma'am. No, I am. Give me everything you got. Let's go, Mr. M. Next carriage. I can handle this from here. You should check on Sean. Okay. Okay. None of you. What is it? You all right? Fill the baggage car. For Christ's sake, you ain't even taking a look yet. There's probably something in here, Arthur. Twice a chance of hitting someone. <laughs> Very funny. These folks are rich, all right. Oh. Oh. I'm gonna have a right old lump on me head. At least you ain't got a hole in it. Are those tennis rackets in there? Posh bastards. Just keep your eyes peeled. I'm doing me best, all right. I know, that's what's worrying me. Come on, we should get out of here. We're looking good in here. All right, we should probably be going now. Arthur, we've got a problem. There's two arseholes on horses. How many, you say? I just see a pair of them. All right, in that case, we're fighting. Horst, Smith, get ready. You men come out the train now, do you hear? We said you men come out now. There's only two of you, you fools. We got a whole lot less to lose. Why don't the two of you ride away? That way neither of you get killed. Goddamn liberties. Man, there's a few more of them torn enough. <sighs> Man, my big mouth. Okay, let's deal with them. What? That was fun, boys. Real fun. We can see what they call you the professionals in the outfit. Shut <laughs> up. At least we made some money. Now, what did I get? 
Gotta be a hundred dollars here. Very nice. You weren't even invited. <laughs> what now? <laughs> we still need a real big take. Enough for us to get out of here. Was that a setup? Law turned up real fast. I don't know. I don't think so, but I'm starting to get nervous. Think they followed us from Blackwater? Maybe. They found me already near Horseshoe, but I think this law was just locals. I hope so. I'm gonna head into Valentine. See if I can get something started there. Good idea. Either way, we should all go it alone right now. You know the deal. Don't be followed. Uh, of course not, boss. Yeah. Did the university send you? Because if they did, they can get lost. I have never been so insulted in all my life. Really, laughed at. Balderdash. Are you quite certain you're not a spy? Those wretches will do anything to destroy me. My theories are correct, and I can prove it! I am the leading amateur paleontologist in the nation, and not one university will hire me because, unlike them, I actually have ideas. <laughs> you're a what? I study dinosaurs. You know, big lizards. Are they real? Of course they're real, you nincompoop. And everywhere. Everywhere? This state was once a vast, shallow sea that had the most incredible animal that could walk, swim, and fly. Quite unique. I call it Totalisaurus. Just for now. <laughs> um, I'm trying to gather all the evidence. Miss Deborah McGinnis? Arthur. Good to meet you. Uh, could you give me a hand here, please? Of course. Yeah. <clears throat> Listen, if you find any of these bones around the country, send them to my homestead at Furwood Rise in Cumberland Forest. Or mail me the locations. I'll reward you handsomely for your efforts. Sure. A cup of foons. Very, very wrong. Which, trust me, is the very best thing about science. <sighs> Good day to you, sir. <laughs> I'm sorry. Hey, so, feeling better? How's the scar? I heal pretty fast. Lucky you. So you just lazing about and... You got any leads? I got something. You see them? Sure. Well, you see yourself as a shepherd now? <laughs> Maybe. Come on. Well, where exactly are we going? Collect something. Help us get some sheep. Uh, you know, that attempt to seem all enigmatic and interesting, that might work for Dutch, but for you, it just makes you look stupid. Like you were saying before, I'm here to tell you, if we try to collect that money anytime soon, it'll come with a noose. I was worried you'd say that. Dutch says that we... Dutch says a lot. That's his gift. Saying things. Oh, yeah? What do you mean by that? I was a prize pony once. Now I'm a workhorse. Listen, Dutch is... But... But, well, you was at that thing in Blackwater. We already seen Pinkerton's here. New century's coming. This life, this way, well, we're the last, I reckon. And we ain't long for it. Then that's the way it goes, I guess. For me, yes. All right. So where are we going? Just need to pick up something. Careful now. There's a hitching post over there. Tether the horse and I'll meet you across the street. Morning, morning. Uh, I already don't like how this is going. Gun store? Yep. Can you, uh, head in, pick up a sniper rifle? I'll explain later. Don't you wear yourself out now. 
Oh, well, hello again. How can I help you today? Looking for a rifle? Something with a sight on it. Shouldn't be a problem. You want to see what we've got? It's all in the catalog here. Sure. Let's go. Boy. Hey. All right, boy. Why couldn't you have done that? Done what? Bought that gun. Ah, I had a run in with that fella earlier. We ain't on the best of terms. You had a run in. I've had a run in with half that town. Calm down. It's done now, ain't it? Why are you being so cagey about all this? Always playing some goddamn game. Me? I ain't the one taking Jack on fishing trips. No, you ain't. If you say the boy ain't yours, what's the difference? You probably only run off again. Why are you so interested in my life? Ain't you got one of your own? Just do one thing or another. Not be two people at once, that's all I'm saying. It ain't that simple. You know that as well as anyone. Same as with you and that girl... What was her name, Mary? That was different. No, it ain't. Just the same. Anyway, for the love of God, will you tell me what you got me doing here before I turn around and hit the breeze? There's a herd of sheep coming down to auction from Emerald Ranch. Folk in town were saying the owner's trying to stamp out every farm from here to Ansburg. Yeah, I know that place. All right, but a couple of new ranch hands will be collected on the sale. Doubt the town will care to notice too much. Why we need this rifle you couldn't buy yourself. Reckon we shouldn't get too close. At least not till we know what we're dealing with. Let's see what we can see from up here. That's them over there. The one now. Put a shot in near them. I reckon they'll hightail it. They're only ranch hands. Just watch the sheep. Hmm. 
Looks like one of them don't scare too easy. Put another shot in, Club. You'll get the message. Yep, that spooked him all right. All right, let's go round him up. Let's go get the strays. You ever work on a ranch, Marston? No. You? Oh, they here, there, but not much. Hold on, let me catch up. Nice of you to join me. So, you were saying? Those cowboys I know were dumb as trees. How hard could it be? They're pretty scattered. Let's get them all rounded up. Back to Valentine is right around that mountain. Okay. Like I said, I'll handle this. Yeah! Get him! Yeah. Those are up, boys. There you go. Fine sheep. They're okay. Well, you seen better around here? I've seen ones with less ambiguity about their provenance. <laughs> A lot less. What are you trying to say? I'm trying to say you give me 25% kickback, and I won't say nothing to nobody. Everything all right here? Excuse me? Sure. I'll excuse you for 25%. Do you want me to put another hole in your head? Folks swing for rustling livestock. 25%. 15. 20. 18. Done. Calm yourself, friend. Just think of it as I'm buying your sins. Uh, you're buying, but we're paying. Go on now. Come back after the auction. You'll get your money. Dutch is waiting for us at the saloon. He is? 18%. I thought we was doing the robbing here. Still good money. Well, thanks for all the help with this. Can't herd, can't swim. Give it a rest, will you? We ain't kids no more. Never really was. Easy. Not everything, but in the end, I don't believe in absolutes, just shades of gray. Compromises. Compromises. Well, I have never been a man for compromising. I fear it. Uh, gentlemen. Dutch, Nepo. Where have you been? Working. Marston's thing. Good. And? We're just waiting to get some pay on um, a few sheep. Leopold, my good friend, as long as you're here, why don't you and John go make sure there ain't no funny business? Of course. Gentlemen. Drink 
Sure. <clears throat> Nothing like talking to old Strauss to make you want to blow your own brains out. I should have left him where I found him all those years ago. Bookish little Austrian, fresh off the boat, his eyes out on stalks. Well, I guess the Dutch Vanderlyn finishing school has some strange graduates. That it does. To your good health. Thank you. Vanderlyn! Get out here! Get out what here the now! Hell? You don't know me, but you keep robbing me. My name is Leviticus Cornwall. I am not a man to be messed with by the likes of you. Get out here before I have these men killed. What do you think? Get out here, well, I... you depraved piece of trash. You start spinning the yarn. When I think the moment's you right, I'll make a move. I got where I am by letting Scott like you rob from me? Vandalin, you're done. Now get out here now. Deal with this nonsense. Please, gentlemen, this is a terrible mistake. This is a case of mistaken identity. What is worse than admonishing a man for the sins of another? Who wants to be the Messiah? Not me, nor do I want to be this Dutch Vanderlyn, whomever he may be. I am Archibald.
Sure, nobody's following us. We'll get back to camp. We're gonna gather the troops and get them to start packing up. Ugh. Sure, we can't stick around after this. Let's go! <laughs> Disappeared on us for a while. But think this is the right way. Give me a second. <laughs> they carry on along this trail. What was I talking about? Oh, when Jack was real young. A long while. Year. He did? And we was family, you know? Guess I still ain't fully forgiven him for that. There's a camp up ahead. Be careful. Seems deserted. Let's take a look. Whoa, whoa! Where is this guy? I don't know. But you know something? This is a better camp spot than back there. Much easier to defend. Maybe. This looks like our feather, Charles. Quick, cut him free and let's get out of here. Vorsicht, Vorsicht! Vorsicht! Take cover! Three coming right at us! You get the hell! dealt with. You get him untied, and I'll see what they've left behind for us. Sie sind alle weg. Helfen Sie mir. It's okay. Vielen Dank für Ihre Hilfe. Yeah, okay. Hey, you wait there a second. Charles, go find Dutch. Get the caravan to divert here. This spot should work for us. I agree. Yeah. 
Also soll ich mitkommen? Geld? Money? Meiner Familie gehört eine Goldmine. Sie wollen Lösegeld erpressen. How did someone even come up with them words? Sie bringen mich zu meiner Familie? Vielen Dank. Wie haben Sie sie gefunden? Look. Herrgott sei Dank! Schatz! Oh. Andreas! Oh. Andreas! Ich hab gedacht, du seist tot! Beinahe wär's so gewesen! Meine Lieblinge! Mein Herz allerliebst! Oh, wie wunderbar. Oh. Sie sind ein großer Mann. Ja. Ein großer Mann. Ja, wirklich. Es ist ein Segen, dass Thanks. wir Sie getroffen haben. Come on, now get out of here. This place ain't safe. Get out of here! Ja, ja, Famos. alles klar. Famos. Uh, ich hab was für Sie. Einen Moment. Uh, um, Dankeschön. Thank you. Vielen Dank, herzlichen Dank. Guess it was a pleasure. You were right. Oh, this place. Oh, it'll be perfect for us. Hello, Arthur. Dutch. Miss Grimshaw, Mr. Pearson, put everyone to work. Make this place a home. Well, I don't know where the hell we are, but we are going to make the best of it. Funny, us ending up down here. My daddy died in a field in Pennsylvania, fighting this lot. I ever tell you that? Many times. I see I'm boring you, Arthur. Worrying me? 
We lost men back there. We have lofty goals, Arthur. We're trying to reform society to a kinder, truer, better way. Now, of course, there's gonna be casualties. We're thieves in a world that don't want us no more. We are dreamers in an ever duller world of facts. Now, I'll give you that, but come on. We got the day. It's nice out. Old Hosea says that there's a crick around here. I reckon it's full of thick. Show us this crick you've been pissing in. Hey, you don't look too rosy, old friend. I thought this warmer weather would... My days are looking good and long over. <laughs> Always green crushing and bubble bursting, you. <laughs> Come on, Hosea. Let's go fishing. Come on, then. Just fish here. There's a whole lake of them. Because I need to get out for a bit. Me and the old guard. Before any of them back there, oh, it was us. The curious couple and their unruly son. It feels good here. You did well finding that spot, Arthur. More Charles than me. It's like I can breathe again, thick and soupy as this air is. Might even do your whistling pipe some good, Hosea. I was once in this country with Bessie. Ah, feels like a lifetime ago. It was a lifetime ago. But what a life we have lived, how well we have fought. Oh, when things are desperate, we have to stick with the plan. Make enough money, then find somewhere where nobody will find us. But we don't have to hide. Uh, like where? I got some ideas hatching, but I need you with me, not against me. Both of you. Of course. Still, we do need money. So keep a low profile, especially in the local town. After Valentine, I want everyone on best behavior here. No trouble. Easy. But start turning over the soil and the rocks. See what turns up. Dutch. We've got to be discreet. Imagine what a slew of rich, simple tins there must be down here. Oh, this is perfect for you, Hosea. You'll be able to play them like a fiddle. Looks like law up ahead. Play it cool. Easy. Hello, gentlemen. Well... Look what the cat drug in. I seem to have gotten myself in a spot of bother. Quiet back there. Let's see if we can't sort this out. <laughs> How are you, boys? Fine. This is quite some country you have here. We like it well enough. Hoagie McIntosh, at your service. Lee Gray. This is my deputy, Archibald McGregor. It is good to meet you. You a Scot? Partly. The best part. <laughs> of course. Now, tell me, sir, what did the silly, fancy fop back there do? Nothing too terrible, I trust. He was accused of running a gold mining investment scam. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm sure he wasn't. He is a magician. I know him. He's a fool. But he is not a bad fellow. Now, can we... Can we just... Uh... I wouldn't do that if I were you! I... Shit! I... The Anderson boys! I can't have more scandal! Well, allow us to help, my friend. Arthur, 
Chase wanted man. Uh, and, and take Archibald with you. Just what I signed up for. Come on, big guy. Perhaps we can discuss the foolish magician. Stay with that train. Don't let them get away. Keep your guns holstered. We need them Anderson boys alive. Hey, settle down. Come on, Max. We're not losing them. Will you stop? Faster, come on. What's your name, sir? Arthur. Arthur Callahan. Faster, Mr. Callahan, please. My neck is on the line here. Looks like the son of a bitch is gonna make it. You sure I can't just shoot him? No. Did I not say that? You said plenty. What do you think you're doing? So long, deputy. Woo! <laughs> Faster. <laughs> Idiot. Now get after the others. Come on. Hey, stop that. The train is slowing down to go through the station. Now's our chance. Get to the side of the train. What the hell are you doing? Uh. Get alongside that flat carriage. You think you can jump on there? Me? Why me? Because you ride like my grandmother. Uh, you cop bastards! Uh, I didn't do nothing! Uh, uh, I think he's dead. I think I won the fight. Bring him out here. Deputy? Sounded like quite a commotion. Is that him? I sincerely hope so. Old Anders Anderson. So what now? We'll take him in. Come on. A fine job. Well done. And a pat on the back for me for stopping the train. There you go. You are a natural. All right, let's take him in. Follow me. What about the... There you go. You are a natural. All right, let's take him in. Follow me. What about the others? Oh, we'll round them up. Anders back there is the brains of the operation, and that's really saying something. You're the boss. That was mighty impressive, sir. I have to admit. I'd hazard a guess you've served the law yourself at some point. Well, I wouldn't exactly say that. Are you familiar with the area here? No, not really. On your right here, these tobacco fields? This is part of Caliga Hall, big estate belonging to the Gray family. Looks bone dry. Yes, we are in dire need of some rain round here, let me tell you. The Grays have lived in Caliga Hall for generations. Fine people. My family's been working for them for years. Sheriff Gray's the one I know best, of course, but they own half the businesses in town. Which town? Rhodes, sir. You don't know it? Where we're headed right now. Ain't what it was before the war, but it has its charms. 
I'm sure you already know of the Braithwaites. Like I said, just got down here. Another big family in these parts. They have an estate west of here. Awful people, truly awful. They've been fighting with the Greys for as long as I can remember. Sounds like quite the place you got here. Home. Here we are. Welcome to Rhodes. Up there on your left is the Rhodes Parlor House. Very reputable saloon owned by the Gray family. We also have a general store, gunsmith, post office, train station, of course. What more do you need? Oh, good. They're back. And that's your friend, right? Yep. Okay. We're gonna stop just ahead on the right, outside the sheriff's office. Can you grab Anders off your horse and carry him in for me? Bring him in so we can show Sheriff Gray. Hey, fellas. Mr. Gray! We got him. Very good. I told you Arthur would deliver. Man has a passion for justice. That's wonderful. So, uh, about my friend here? Your idiot friend is free to go. But no more trouble from you, partner. I promise you, this was all just a big misunderstanding. However, I want to appreciate that. Mr. McIntosh, it has been a real pleasure. The mostly good citizens of Rhodes, we welcome you. Well, we're just honored to be here. And make your friend behave. We got enough trouble from some of the residents, old timers who've gone sadly to seed and lost their dignity. How terrible. Come along now. I will keep this fellow on the straight and narrow. Well, come back and see us sometime soon. Excuse me, gentlemen. Uh, Bo, these better be ugly rumors. Is it true you were seen talking to that wretched Penelope Braithwaite? I can't thank you enough. Where have you been? Around. And where are you staying? I'm renting a caravan on the edge of town behind the church. It's horrible, but no one comes looking. The whole town is trapped in this interminable feud between the two families. His lot, Greys, and Braithwaite's. Interesting. Two old plantation houses and falling out of rebel gold and marrying cousins or not marrying them. Arthur, that's Jose, you start poking around. See what you can find out about that. I have missed you, boys. I've heard about bounty. Well, there's been a price on my head for 13 years. It'll take a month to find us down here, and it seems like we can have a little sport. Well, they're good bounties. Where you hear this? Some fellas I met at a camp near the state line said there was talk of it in bars in the north and west for 500 miles. There was talk of super agents or some such. Super agents? <laughs> I'd love to meet one. It's just talk. I'm sure it is, but I couldn't not tell you. Stay out of trouble. Thank you, gentlemen. <laughs> okay, so these two plantation families. Arthur, you start sniffing around the Gray's place, see what the story is there. Yeah, I passed by it earlier with our friend, Archibald. Good. Hosea, you see what you can find out about these Braithwaites. All right. Thank you, Arthur. Quite a fishing trip. There's still time. I'm up for it. How about you, Arthur? Have you had enough of the chase for one day? Uh, I'll need to relax someplace. Fair enough. It looks like it's you and me, old man.